Hi everybody, Paul here. Today I want to talk to you about variable valve timing, variable camshaft timing, oil control valve solenoids, and what happens if you have a bad one and you don't replace it. So stay tuned. So this is what a variable valve timing, variable camshaft timing, oil control valve solenoid looks like. The oil actually enters in here, and then the oil is released from here as needed. It also has an O-ring to keep it sealed in the block so no oil leaks out onto the block. And it's also got an electrical connection on it which the electrical harness attaches to. This part will usually be located somewhere in the upper portion of the engine. I'm going to refer to this as an oil control valve during the rest of this video. This oil control valve plays a very important role in the performance of your vehicle. Basically what it does is it typically activates when there's a heavy load put on the engine, such as carrying or pulling additional weight, traveling uphill, or sudden acceleration. It works on oil pressure and can either advance or retard the position of the camshaft. When it activates, it also sends additional oil as I showed you previously through here to lubricate the timing chain and gear assembly. What will keep the oil control valve operating at optimum performance is by simply keeping clean oil in your engine. Once your engine oil gets dirty, it will not operate the same until the dirty engine oil is replaced with clean oil. It's that simple. One big caveat that a lot of people don't know about is that these oil control valves also have their own separate oil filter screen. So let's take a look at that right now. This is what the oil filter screen looks like and can be located anywhere on the engine. If it gets plugged with debris or sludge like this one, then it needs to be replaced or it will affect the performance of the oil control valve. If you don't replace a bad oil control valve, it can cause severely reduced gas mileage, rough idle, engine RPM fluctuation, and even cause the timing chain and gear assembly to wear prematurely. It could even break the timing chain and gear assembly, which could end up costing thousands of dollars in repair bills. Also, when your check engine light stays on, it could mean the oil control valve is faulty or there are other issues which are not allowing it to function properly, which is why, of course, you need to have the vehicle checked with a computer scanner. One time I had a low oil pressure warning light stay on along with the check engine light. A computer scanner showed a P as in Paul 0012 trouble code, which told me the variable valve timing, variable camshaft timing system wasn't operating properly. It turned out it was simply due to dirty engine oil, which was affecting the performance of the oil control valve. I simply changed the engine oil and engine oil filter, and it completely fixed the problem. As far as cost goes to replace an oil control valve, I just checked on eBay for a genuine Toyota replacement for a 2006 Toyota Camry, which happens to be what this is from, and it was $46. So I hope this helps somebody out there, and if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now.